In this video, I'm going to be using Tinder Passport to swipe in one of the sexiest cities in the world, New Delhi, India. What's going on, guys? It's Wingman Plus. Welcome back to another video. This is the latest installment of my Tinder Passport world tour. Now, I put a poll up on Instagram of where you guys wanted to see me swipe next. I feel like all of India really rallied together and voted on that poll. So big shout out to all of my Indian followers. This video is for you. Before it starts, make sure you pound that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I am your go-to source for hilarious, entertaining, and helpful Tinder videos. With all that though, let's get into it. Now I've swiped on cities across the world, but I've never actually swiped in India before. So this is a very new venture. Let's see how it goes here. I was also wondering where in India to swipe because it is a very big, diverse country, lots of different cities. Uh, a lot of you guys DM me, uh, swipe in Delhi, swipe in New Delhi. So here we are swiping away. Let's see what we can get here. And already, you know, a couple cuties right off the bat. Love to see it. Okay, boys, we've got a match right off the bat. Okay, looks like she's into the beach. Okay, nice uh, fashion sense here. Yeah, she looks like a pretty fun girl. I'd definitely buy you a taco. Are there tacos in India? Do you guys have Mexican food? If not, that would be a new experience for her. All right. Well, she's 63. Okay. No, she clarified. She's only 42. There's a lot going on in this bio. Honestly, if I see a bio that long, I just know it's an absolute red flag, which depending on your point of view, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. You know, sometimes a red flag can mean a good time. Um, but I typically try to avoid those ones for sure at this point. Been there, done that, boys. Okay, wow, back to my roots. I have a nice personality and a nicer peach. Love the bio. Okay, yeah, Fiona would uh, would definitely get it for sure. She's gonna get a right swipe. Okay, you know what? Zoya's pretty cute too. We, she doubled up on the last photo. Not sure what's going on with that, um, but we'll give her a right swipe here, boys. And just like that, we've got another matchy poo. All right, what should we say to Zoya? She looks kind of tall in her photos, but it's hard to tell. I'm just gonna ask her straight up, how tall are you? Throw the little eye emoji in there just cause we can. Tans, this is a yellow subtitle font. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. It's funny she put text on the screen to let us know what the formatting of the text on the screen is. It's a little weird, not gonna lie. Okay boys, you know what? Waiting for the absolute rockets to pop up here. Okay, you know what? Nivy's looking pretty cute. Oh, it looks like she watches The Office too. That's actually pretty funny. She works at Dunder Mifflin. That's going to get a big right swipe for me. Okay. Here we go. Things are really starting to look up here in Indian Tinder. Whoa. Courtney, what are we doing here? Oh my. Wow. Okay. Now, I have like three assumptions right off the bat. So Courtney's got her location hidden, uh, which basically means that, you know, I don't really think she's in India. Courtney is either an absolute bot um, trying to sell an OnlyFans subscription to Thirsty Dudes or just like a low key baddie. And I'm willing to gamble on it. So I'm going to swipe right. Little pro tip, guys, if you are swiping and you think someone's a bot, a good way to like not get scammed is don't give them your actual phone number. Um, if things do escalate in the conversation, you want to take it off of Tinder, you know, get the Instagram, get the Snapchat. Don't just give every girl your number because you're going to get some scam calls if you start doing that. Okay. And right off the bat, we've got another absolute bombshell of a match here. This girl looks really fit. Looks like she goes to the gym a lot. I'm going to say want to skip leg day and grab drinks. That was probably my favorite match so far. So let's try and keep it going here. We'll keep the swipes going. Okay, you know what? What are we doing? Yeah, she's not bad. Okay. I'm just gonna send her literally a winky face. Just boom, shooting my shot. Being efficient here, boys. Looks like I'm really starting to rack up some matches here in India. So the key is if you are getting a lot of matches on Tinder, the, the key is really just being efficient, you know, not wasting too much time texting giant paragraphs back and forth on Tinder. 
um, trying to keep the conversation playful, testing their interest level, and then just getting the contact information, getting it off Tinder and setting up a date. Now, on the other hand, if you don't have a lot of matches, I actually just dropped the ultimate Tinder profile guide called The Matchbook. It's got over 50 sample bios, 20 sample prompts for Hinge and Bumble, and 50 sample photos that you can take, replicate, as well as a template that you can follow to easily build you know, a world-class Tinder profile. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in, I've got a link to it down in the description of this video. Go get the matchbook, guys. Start getting matches on Tinder. You don't have to be an absolute 10 out of 10 guy to get matches on Tinder. You just need to know how to avoid common mistakes and implement best practices that compel women to swipe right. So it's not too hard. Sometimes you just need to be pointed in the right direction. And that's why I designed the matchbook for you guys. Okay, Abby. Whoa. This is like the Tinder swindler's profile. Like we've got a Rolls Royce, a private jet, a watch that I don't even know the name of, but looks like it's a million dollars, um, and like a private sauna. So we're gonna swipe right. I, you know, Abby's either, um, you know, an absolute bot or could be my sugar mama, and I I love the gamble on that. Okay, Niha, looking fantastic. Now we're talking. I was wondering where all the hot girls were, and it seems like they're all in the section of people who have already liked me. So that's really good to see. I'm not mad about that at all. Oh yeah. But with all that guys, my favorite portion of these videos is the part where uh, we go through the top picks and really see like, what are the best of the best looking like on Tinder in India. So with all that, Let's get out of this section of the video. Let's go check out the top picks now and see what we're working with. I always have a hard time swiping left in the top picks. I feel like Tinder really puts, you know, some serious quality in here. So we're going to swipe through. By the way, guys, if you find yourself getting matches and you don't really know what to say to girls, uh, I know sometimes it can be hard to think up a pickup line out of nowhere, but I'm your wingman. I got your back. I put a link down in the description of this video where you can sign up for my email list. And when you do, I will send you a PDF with 25 Tinder pickup lines. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead, sign up for my email list down in the description of this video and never leave a match just sitting there on the back burner while you wait for a pickup line. Start texting those matches, setting up dates, boys. Start shooting your shot. So there you go, guys. Look, a lot of people requested this video which actually blew my mind. Like I'm so thankful to have a platform where so many people are invested in this type of content and you get a lot of value out of it. So if you are one of those people, you enjoyed this video, you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new video. Also, if you made it this far, pound that like button and let me know down in the comments where you wanna see me swipe it in the next one. Until next time, peace.